Hey guys, thanks for joining me back on my channel. Here's another video um, brought to you. Where am I? I'm in the Amazon cave. This is my little slice of, I don't know, insanity? Maybe? <laughs> it, I usually call it my office. It's where I go to get my work done. I focus on my studio here. I plan projects. I do what I gotta do. This is like my little space. Um, I should give you a tour sometime. It'll be really quick. It's basically like a like a broom cupboard. Very Harry would understand. It's a small space, but it's mine. It's my own tiny little world where I can just uh, be me. <laughs> All right, so what the hell is this video about, you're wondering. Well, <laughs> I decided to, every month, put together a personal art update so I can stay accountable for that New Year's resolution goal that I made. Um, if you watch the video, you know what I'm talking about. I really need to start putting together my own personal portfolio. It just, it, it needs to be a focus and a priority for me this year. I was actually really, really sick last week and this video I wanted to send out to you last week, but I was so ill and you could probably still hear a little bit of it in my voice. And I had a moment when I was laying in bed, very sick. I had a fever for a couple days and wasn't moving, wasn't coming out of bed. Very weak, I even fell. Um, basically stress. This is what stress does to me. Um, I had a moment where I had such like horrible chest pains and my like breathing was slowing down and I had a moment where I thought, you know, what if I died? And I'm not trying to be dramatic here, but I really like that thought stuck in my head because one day, I mean, we all, it, it is the inevitable. It's going to happen. And and it was really a profound feeling for me because I thought I have not done what I felt or what I feel like I need to do for whoever, however long time that I have on this earth. I have not yet accomplished it. So it was really upsetting to me and it really, that feeling stuck with me and it's been a couple days now and not that I'm feeling depressed about it, but it's really shifted um, how I'm laying out my days, how I'm caring about my days, and the whole concept of working on stress levels and mental health and getting it to a point where I'm not constantly, you know, falling ill. <laughs> <coughs> oh yeah there's the cough doesn't end um yeah that that's a big focus of mine is to get healthy this year in a mental state so that it can then translate to my body so working on stress levels and I think what the key to that is really making more art when I make my more art when I'm more tuned into that I'm dealing with stress, you know, through the process of art making. Um, it's it's great therapy, guys. <laughs> if you haven't tried it, try it. <laughs> Make some art. All right, so I'm going on here forever. Um, so before I start getting into all my updates, I wanted to share with you something awesome. Uh, for Christmas, Santa was really good to me. And my husband bought me this and I've been dying for this forever so you if you follow me on Instagram this is gonna be all old news to you but for those of you who are you know you just follow me here on YouTube so you'll be updated <laughs> so yeah I'm really excited about this it's a, a grayscale set from Faber-Castell this is you know my favorite go-to um, ink set I love their colors and all of my grays were dying or I mean they were practically dead I don't know why I was carrying around their carcasses and the ink was never coming out uh, what's cool about this set 
is that it's a set of warm grays and cool grays. And then you also have a black and a fine. Um, it's called S, so it's really small. And then a black brush tip. So this is really awesome. I'm excited about this set. And I have started working on it. Again, go to Instagram, you'll see what I've done with this. Um, all right, time for the waterworks, guys, because this next one's going to make me cry. Um, a lot of you guys are subscribers of Christabel626, and you know that's my sister, and she had recently gone to Italy with our mother, and she's got a whole bunch of videos there. Go watch them. It's, you know, beautiful. So they had stayed in Florence, and they had stayed in Rome, and I stayed in Florence about, don't make me count, it's depressing, Whew. 11 years ago, crap, 11 years ago, I had stayed for a summer, it was through school when I was, um, I was a junior entering my senior year of Fashion Institute Technology, I went to school for illustration, and we had a program that we can study in Italy and a lot of my friends went it was amazing and I had bought sketchbooks there I bought a sketchbook for myself and some loved ones of mine and the the quality of sketchbooks there are unlike anything that I can find in the States and they really are superb and I found this really cool little shop in Florence and what was neat about it is they didn't just sell sketchbooks, but they had also would, um, what was it, emboss like your name or, you know, whatever you wanted onto the book. So I got everyone's name on it, you know, including my name on my book. And it was just, it makes that gift just a little extra special, you know. It's So when they go to Italy, my family, they knew they had to get me a sketchbook, and they were, you know, kind of teasing and saying, oh, we couldn't find any books, blah, blah, blah. Well, what would you have wanted? And I was like, well, I would like a book that, you know, like a nice large book that I can take out to the park or something. And, and for Christmas, you know, we had a second Christmas. So they came over, and we exchanged gifts. It was like in the new year. And I opened up. Sorry, I'm crying. Oh, God. Okay, this is what I open up. I'll show you the first one. This is from my mother. And there I am. Jennifer Amazon. Which I'm showing it to you upside down because I'm a mess. <laughs> so, there. I mean, look how amazing this is. It's like a hand or a tree. They found the store that I went to. I don't know how, because I don't remember the name of it, but they did, and the sketch paper is, of course, amazing. And I love that it has this little tab here. I get really emotional about this because Italy represents something so important in my life. Oh, such a loser. <laughs> Italy was the time before senior year, and it was almost like a last childhood in a way. You know, senior year is extremely stressful. If you're in college right now, you totally get it. You know, before the we're, the real world is coming, and and it. I had bonded with my classmates and such beautiful, wonderful people that I have met and friendships I still have today. Oh, God. Okay, next thing. Wow. So, Krista got me this one. Look how cool this book is. So, it has uh, the fleur de lis on here, which is a little dark to see. So that's the symbol of Florence. And then down here, it's Jennifer Amazon. 
And this is great because it's got the whole wrap around. This is like the perfect field sketchbook. It's so big. Look at that. So this is oversized. You know, look at that. Oh, gosh. And what's really cool, um, this is a book that you see how it slips in. She bought me a replacement. So once I run out of like all this paper, I can then put in a brand new one, which is really cool. So it doubles the life of this. It just, you know, I, I was really blown away by these gifts. I broke down crying and they're all, my mom's like, why do I crying over sketchbooks? Don't buy the girl diamonds, buy her books. And it's true. I mean, I mean, just from the spot, you know, Florence has my heart. It stole my heart years ago. And, you know, I truly hope that I will be blessed in one day and be able to return. And hopefully this time I can go with my family, bring my son, and uh, he's got to experience the world. But, yeah, it's... These books are precious to me. So precious. All right. Quit bowling, Jen. And then I got to show you this because it's super cute. It's a little keychain. And it's my favorite color. I'm obsessed with this, like, teal aquamarine color. And what's on it? My P.O. box. I'm so excited about this, guys. Um, I needed something for my studio because I did not want people knowing where I live. Um, so for business purposes and, you know, that kind of stuff. So super excited about this. So keeping that on there. And just like a few days ago, my sister surprised me like this girl, I tell you, um, you know, it's not Christmas or anything, but she just thought it was super cool. This is a little leather folio. It's got the Hogwarts crest on it because I'm obsessed. We both are obsessed. Like we could literally quote all of the films and just like be on point with each other. So how cool. It's a little folio where I keep, this is now my drawing kit right here. I have my favors and I actually went through some old um, tins of mine of drawing supplies that I had and I found some, some old friends in here which I'm looking forward to reconnecting with. So super excited about this, so this and that stuff. I think they make a good pair. What do you think? I do too. All right. Okay. So I'm done showing off all my Italy goods and surprises. So here is the update guys. Um, can't believe it. What did I say I was going to do the beginning of this year? guess what happened? I, I got contacted by an old friend of mine who I actually worked for and I designed his book cover, I want to say a year or two ago, maybe two, two to three. Yeah, let's go with that. Um, let's go with two to three years ago. <laughs> so he called me up and he hired me to design his second book cover. Super excited because it's fantasy fantasy book cover guys and on top of that I'm going to be doing some other illustrations and uh, that are part of the characters so here it is um, I asked for it I put it out in the universe and it came back to me really quick I'm really surprised um, so I'm really excited to start working on that book I began putting together um, like a Pinterest board I use that to gather references and things like that. He has an image. He's got ideas of what he wants the book to look like. So I'm pooling in that along with artists that I'm inspired by, things that I'm looking at that can help influence my design. So, wow. Freaking awesome. Okay. <laughs> so the name of this, um, so the book is Sage, and I'm going to have all the information down below so you can go check it out. The first book is available for purchase. You know, that's been done, so you can go check it out, and there's a good chance that we're going to be at Comic-Con this year. I just got the email for that, 
um, what? <laughs> I haven't done Comic-Con in a while, and I think I have to, you know, right? You gotta do it. It's, it's for work. It's for work. <laughs> All right, so yeah, so that's, that's great news. Um, I also wanted to let you guys know that I opened up on... Facebook. So if you're a Facebook user, um, I started a group called Amazon Art Tribe. And again, links down below. I'll take you right there. And I want it to be sort of like an inspirational group where we can share tips, share advice, share artwork, um, and just have it be a place for people to grow. I have, um, we're a small group right now and, you know, anyone can join. So you know, come join us. I'll be sharing advice and, you know, different giveaways and things like that. February, I'm going to be giving out something fun. So definitely stay tuned for that. So the last thing I want to share with you is right there. <laughs> These are two paintings that I had started and I never finished. And they deserve to be finished. So that's one. And I think what I got so stuck with this is that I wasn't quite sure where I was going. Um, I kept changing my mind in how I wanted to finish this. Yeah, I did a sketch and pencil I did like a layer with um, with a little bit of uh, watercolor just to have something down. I don't know. I'm not quite sure where I'm going to go with this, but I think the whole point is just, just do it. Just do it and get it done. And it doesn't matter if it's what you wanted. Just, just go. <laughs> just do it. Call it over and move on with your life. That's the goal. All right, so here's the other one. Same thing. Didn't know what I was doing, where I was going with it. <sighs> I like this one. She's pretty badass. Pretty badass. Let's check her out. Yeah, um, this one kind of stalled. I had a model and she kept bailing on me, so I don't know. I really think I need to invest in like some of those like little mannequins that I can pose myself. Definitely be more reliable. <laughs> ah, artist problems. <laughs> Alright guys, so that is it for my updates. Um, I think I covered everything. I feel like this is a long video, but a lot's been going on and I had some stories for you. So thanks for sticking around. And I'm going to see you at the end of next month, which is, I guess, technically this month if you're watching. And then if you're in the future, it's the past. So you can just go watch it now. <laughs> so, yeah. So I will see you soon. And I'll let you know how all of this is developing. Again, please like this video if you enjoyed yourself. If you enjoyed me and subscribe share it with other artist friends that you have that may be interested in the craziness of what it means to be an artist and <laughs> definitely hit me up on my social medias find me on uh, that facebook group and instagram and i will see you in a future video go make some art <laughs>